You may be hearing the wind noise, and that's because we paid some homie on Fiverr to make us Bowman for VR, and we're putting it on the site. So if you have a VR headset, gamechef.io, you're about to be blown away. So we're gonna upload it to our website now. We got the Oculus. The next you see, hopefully it'll be Neil standing in there like a dumb dumb bowman in a way. On the uh, right there, just put your hands down pretty much. All right, so it looks like it doesn't do the VR like following your eyes thing. It kind of like you have to click and drag to move your dude around, which I mean it's not terrible. Why but is this one up there? I think we need to configure something to actually work properly. Obviously, you guys can't see it, and we still haven't set up the freaking mirroring on the screen. But yeah, we'll, I'll check in if we get something working. Or uh, okay, it's actually it's black, but I can hear the desert. And oh, it, it's black. It's black right now, but it it like it worked for a little bit. It it did a thing that like denoted that it was going to work. Whoa. Is, are you in now? Well, it's black. Okay, what the frick? It's probably just... You should refresh or something? I don't know. I don't know how to refresh. Alright, it's the next day. Neil played with some uh, settings on the iframe. Which, for people that don't know what that is, it doesn't really matter. But it should work um, now. There's basically a setting that tells this thing in the HTML, like, hey, you should let the headset actually do its thing. And that's what we changed. So hopefully the headset can now actually do its thing. But that's uh, to be determined. All right, we're on the other browser. Early results are not promising. So we have been doing some tinkering, by, by we I mean Neil's been doing some tinkering, I've been providing moral support. Uh, we got a game working in the browser, but it's not our game. We got It's like a little test thing we did, but it's proof of concept. So we're just needing to adjust the game we have now. I don't know how we're gonna adjust it, but we gotta do it and we know it'll work. So there is a light at the end of the tunnel, we just don't know how long the tunnel is. You already know. You already know. The guy outside, you can't see it because the white balance is all off, but he knows too. Um, Neil got Bowman VR working today. On the on the quest. That's today. That was today. June. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what's going on. <laughs> that long of a day, huh? Yeah. Uh, yeah, so we'll, we'll provide some updates shortly, but I just needed to provide that quick update that we're eating burritos. And we've got a working VR game on our website, and you should check it out. Gamechef.io. Hit it, baby. Ooh, poor trick. Oh, boy. So, uh, with some updates from Neil, and I think he was talking to our homeboy that made the game, we have now got a VR game on our website, and it works on both browsers. And this is my first, ooh, first time playing it. What, what the heck is It's this? cool, right? Yeah, uh, although it's lefty. Oh, you can't switch it? Dude, is our homeboy ridiculous? Like, come on, dude. Lefty. Okay, this is actually dope. I don't like this at it's all. It's cool though. mechanic. Imagine if this was, like, target practice. Oh, dude, I hit him in the leg. We could turn this into, like, <sighs> ten games. Yeah. This uh, mechanic. Dude, this is... Okay. It's cool, right? Yeah, except for I'm not a freaking lefty. <laughs> yeah, we gotta, like, ask him to just make it righty. How am I supposed to... Are you sure you just don't have the controllers swapped? I'm like low-key about to swap them. Like, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> Although now it's all... Oh, dude, this music. Did you get the music? All right, Neil. I'm filming, but I, uh... Oh, I don't have any. Oh, I'll just look at me. Though. I take my bike there, and the guy goes, Oh, just a derailer? It's two minutes. I'm like, 
And and he starts looking at you goes, Oh my god. <laughs> and he's like, you can pick it up on Monday. Honey. Honey. So uh yeah, my bike, the derailleur was very broken, uh, but he said he could fix it. So now we're going to a birthday party and then uh, for our, our niece and then Diablo MX, baby. Ooh. All right, as promised, head into Diablo. Uh, there's actual Mount Diablo, uh, but this place is in Brentwood, so it's actually not at Mount Diablo. Um, nobody wanted to come today. I mean, one person didn't even respond. It was just full on the audacity. Uh, no, but I think it'll be a good day, just us two. We threw it up on Instagram, so maybe maybe we'll see somebody that's actually watching this video there. Uh, that'd be crazy. Uh, so next you see us, we'll probably be geared up and uh, getting ready to ride. All right, I have five minutes to do two laps. Uh, we got a late start. I, I ran yesterday, like I've you know gone on a run and years. Did that yesterday. Very sore. Worked out after. Also very sore from that. <laughs> so I don't know. We'll see how I do. I got new front brake pads too. Uh, so yeah, I mean, I don't know. We'll see how she goes. We'll hop in behind these homies. They made a lot of the jumps a little bigger. Yeah, it seems like uh, the big, the big like fast straight with the triple at the end, they made that bigger. Uh, like all the jumps. Uh, yeah, otherwise I guess it's mostly the same, but there's a dude with dreads. You see that guy? Yeah. It's sick. He's, he's got 259 as his number and he's got dreads. And that, guy's, that guy knows. He's yeah. Fish. Yeah, he does. And I'm, I'm glad. What happened, Neil? Some of tires. <laughs> Neil, Neil doesn't do it by hand anymore. He uses a machine. Yeah. Uh, and my, uh, my pipe is about to fall off and we, the, t the, the tools we have are not adequate and it's just a bad situation. That's not my bag, baby. Try and shove a bunch of stuff in there. Neil, wait, first you're what, pumping tires in public, then you ask me to shove a bunch of stuff in there? <laughs> Can we get a wrench in there? You think I get a bunch of stuff? So of course, two things. We uh, when I'm walking to go spectate, my knee pad got all ruined. So that's the uh, thing I'm contending with. One, and then my pipe. There's like a bolt that it should be letting me tighten it, but it won't from the outside. So I have to go on the inside, but I don't have a 12, which is like the most shameful thing ever. So I had to ask some guys for a 12. Basically gave away all my credibility points for the year. Cause like, who doesn't have a 12? Me. 
and then it didn't even fit. So I just jabbed a piece of rubber in there and now I feel like an idiot. And uh, it's really crowded today. Well, as you can see. God, I am dying. I got so much arm pain. Right away. It was like yeah. second lap. How long is that? 12 minutes, but probably only like seven decent minutes. Also, oh my God, there's a lot of people here. Yeah, it's just, you, you take a break and then all of a sudden there's another like path. Yeah. Going up the hills. Dude. My, hand, my throttle hand like just doesn't want to what what a freaking thing man pump, right? yeah, yeah every everything <sighs> cheese to the race nail go slow have fun you know mine we're gonna be just load up and drive home uh oh my gosh another moto my heart rate is 110 and we've been sitting for an hour so Let's do it. Yay. Oh. So I was telling you, I got this fitness watch and it tells me like how recovered I am. And I, I am apparently, like I woke up this morning, like, like after a workout, according to the watch. And now I'm even more tired. So I'm trying to do seven laps at any pace. Neil's trying to do four fast ones. Let's go over there. Yeah. Look at 
that dog. Wow. The little guy. That's more good than me. That guy probably smoke me out of Suzuki needs to get that guy's been on the whole time and he sucks. He's worse than me by a lot. Like he looks like he bought the bike yesterday. Oh that's that was sketchy. He almost took out a bunch of people. How you doing? How you doing? I, I took a break, I had to, I couldn't even hold on. Yeah. I'm gonna do one or two sprint laps if you wanna come with. <laughs> no, you just got off. I'm gonna go though. I got roosted pretty bad, but. Yeah, I can see your goggles. Yeah, we'll, uh, we'll see what we can do here. Nice.
that totally does. I thought I got one and a half. One and a half and then I got the last quarter. Dude, get me out of these clothes. Like Yeah. Your your jumping's doing better. Yeah, I've been working on it. So like you're getting closer to downside and jump and you're you're not landing on so much on the back wheel. Yeah. No, I agree. I think when I'm really focusing, I do that. Yeah. But. <sighs> Holy smokes. Oh! That was super hard. That was the hardest day ever, dude. Yeah. I don't know why I motored so much harder then. I. My my pee was like dark yellow. It was like almost brown. Like that's how dehydrated I had like a lot of water today. I did one moto. One two lap moto. We, didn't, we rode total riding time, 30 minutes maybe. I'd say 40. Yeah, but. That sprint I did at the end, it was two laps and it burned 100 calories and my heart rate was 170 the whole time. That's crazy. Five minutes, one set. I might've been covering the mic, we'll see. This is Neil's high school playlist. <laughs> yeah, you made this? Somebody made this for you. Oh no, call it. This is like way. She had made this for you and call it. I can't help it, I just love it. You guys say this is way newer than high school. This is your jam. Bro. High school was like. That was so more than a decade ago. <laughs> it's crazy. Yeah, this is back when Bieber didn't make terrible songs called Yummy or whatever. That song sucks. Oh my gosh. Fevered. Get a rebate, buddy. You had some good stuff.